just wanted to say thanks again for joining us, you know, and say, you know, sing a little song here for the blessing of the day and of the video. And it goes something like this. It's love, love, bless, bless. This body is blessed and holy. Thank you, gratitude, for being part of my life. I want to thank you and tell you that you're beautiful. Um, and I wanted to remind everybody of the power of the word. Um, I was told when I was a little kid that we were given as humans by God the power of the word. Now, just want to remind you that one of the first things they taught us was to spell, and that spelling uses words, so... Now, you may have seen me working previously in videos on this fish and this face. Okay, so what we've got here is a screenshot from just a little bit earlier in a video um, that I'm working on that's got all these features in it. And it's a nice video, but, you know, this is, if you've seen the fish and the, and the old man's face, there's another video on that. If you want to go look at that, maybe I can insert the link here if I'm really fancy on the YouTube edit in the end. Um, this is very early in the video, and you, I basically came up to this feature, was walking through the forest, and I was like, uh, I need to start video recording this because there's something interesting here. I was sure. And what I really thought was going to be super interesting was this. Um, sorry for all the clicking. Good Lord. There. I saw this white thing right here. Let me just point this white thing out right here. Now this feature sits behind this 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 black thing right here. This black part of this rock is a different rock entirely. So this this these features back here, these are on a separate rock and and from a a, a different it's very stark contrast. And this is why I took the video is because these were very white and these over here were very dark and i was like okay there's something weird going on here so but today we're, I mean, we're gonna look at you know what's in the foreground here for the most part which is this this other little guy right here <clears throat> let's take a look and see what we think about this now oops i'm not sure what's going on here Uh, let's let's just take a look at this right here. Okay, I'm struggling here for a moment with my technical things. Um, there we go. My little pen does not want to do this very well smoothly. Okay. So this rock, at first I thought there was nothing here. I really thought there was nothing here. But then after after I went and I saw, okay, we got fish guy here. We got definitely some interesting features over on this white thing. What? So there's got to be something here on this rock. And so what we're going to do is take a look at that. Because I want you all to take a good look at this right here. All right, now this is something right here. That just kind of, you know, I was like, okay, well, these pink things, definitely, we want to look at these pink things, right? Like, there's definitely something going on here. Because all this other rock is covered with these black things. And these other areas, they are very different color. Okay, and, and I'm going to tell you, there's some really interesting things here. I took a look at this earlier. And don't don't look at these circles over here. Don't don't look at those, because those are very distracting. There's there's kind of another one right there. Okay, I'm not looking at that either. But right here, let's see if it'll let me zoom in. 
Oh, goodness gracious. What is this thing doing? All right. I don't have an actual mouse, you guys. I've got just my little... Okay. I got my keypad. Alright, look at that. Very pink. Alright, we definitely have... Like... Some straight lines right here. Look at this. Oh. Straight lines. Very interesting. But what do we see in this region right here on this face in time? If we go, if we say this is a face, like somebody in the past came in here, let's make an assumption. Since we've already seen all these other features here with the fish and the other guy's face. And uh, if you go further up in this, on this mountain here, there's only like, like 20 steps away. There's a whole bunch of other faces. And um, for sure, 100%, somebody came in here and made these faces in the past. But this one is not super clear. Not to me, anyway. Except for where these... These... What we could say are... Are teeth, right? Like... Are they... Are they teeth? Like... What... What are they? they're not teeth if those are not teeth then what are they i don't know what they are if they're not teeth oh this control thing is really annoying me i was trying to make a bigger screen for y'all so that you can see what's happening with this face in time and for whatever reason it doesn't want me to change the color here i'm trying to get some black okay here we go here we go do you guys see these right here look at this it's very square right here very square right here very square right here are you seeing these things look at this one not quite so square on this one okay you know it's a little big Maybe I can do it with some lighter weight. Okay, look at this. Right here. Are you guys seeing these? Are these teeth? Now, I saw... I have another video up here on the on this channel of another statue face in time that looks like it has teeth. And there's a short, and I believe there's also a regular video on that one. You can go back and look at that. But, well... Now, it looks like he has multiple rows of teeth here, so I'm not sure exactly, but maybe that's his lips. But these right here, if we call that a mouth, you know what I'm saying? If we say this is a mouth, and we have little, little ends coming up here, then it, what often happens when I when I back this out because um, um, it'll look just like what it should be okay now like what's this up here can this be the outline of a of the shape of an eye right here are you guys seeing this I mean, there's something right there, right?
I'm not sure if I like that though. What do you guys think? Looks like I'm the only person watching, so. Hopefully somebody's watching incognito, because this is a lot of me talking to myself right now. But, but you guys, with all the faces I'm seeing later on, I'm like, whoa. I mean, and by when I say I want all the faces I'm seeing later on, I'm saying, like, later in this video, like, this is a screenshot. And I have not counted all the, all the faces in, in, the, in the video yet, and it's going to be a very large number, let me just tell you, because... Do they have pointy ears? Let's see, is there a pointy ear on this side? Oh, what's this? Kind of looks like the line's going down here for the face, doesn't it? side's not as clear. I am no artist, by the way. I'm just, I'm really just feeling like, oh, into what I feel like are lines that are already here. And I'm doing my best to just bring out what the artist had done previously. I don't, I do not, I just go, all, sometimes I go with my gut on some of these things, but, what do you think? Leave a comment. Look at that clear line here, though, between this gray and the black. Let's back this out. What do we got? What do we got? All right, remember we started with the teeth. And that grin. I mean, those teeth were just, like, clear as can be. And I would say also, like, this eye over here. That seemed pretty clear. Um, not sure on the rest of this right now. I mean, we could say his face comes down like this. We could give him a little more definition. What do you think? Is this is this okay? I do feel like there's some cheeks right here, and maybe something similar on this side. And then if we call these eyeballs, and then where's his head going? What is all of this? Is this his hair? Did he have red hair? Kind of looks like there was a hairline right there. Definitely something going on here. Let's, let's, um. Damn it. All right, I'm not.
not very good at this without my full all my tools here. Hold on. Oh, look at that. What do you guys think? Give him a little hair there. A little bit of hair there, a little bit of hair there, a little bit of hair right there. Maybe he's got a mustache. Give dude a mustache. Alright. That looks alright. How do we do this? Alright, we got white. Let's come in here. Maybe he's got some big eyes, yo. That's a little crazy, right? I mean, the whole thing's crazy. Let's come in over here. Let's come in over here. Oops. Alright. Did I claim to be God's gift to artists? No. Hmm, that's interesting, isn't it? He's got some little features here on the top of his forehead. I'm not sure what all that is right there. Just let's zoom in here a little more. Well, I guess it kind of gets blurry. So if we say that guy has a face then, why is this area to the right of this face also very pink and not having any of the gray, what I am calling lichen, on it? Because what we have here on this face here is, let's just, let me just highlight all of this right here is gray lichen and everything inside of this line is pink, right? Like why is this pink? And why is this gray? Can somebody tell me what's going on here with that? I need, I need a, I need a, I need a. It's a lot of clicking. I'm so sorry if that's annoying to you. But what is that all about? Let's zoom in on that. Like, is there another face here and I'm not seeing it? Did something happen to it? Was was this person's companion, was their face re uh, represented here in the past? That is my question. I'm going to say it is possible. Um, do you guys see these eyes right here? Is it right here? Wait. Definitely see an eye right here. Do you guys see that? So if we call that one an eye, then I think the other eye is right here. Do you guys see that?
Let's zoom out and see what this looks like. Oops. I'm really not good at this, am I? Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay, this guy on the left looks really crazy with his big grin. <laughs> <laughs> and it's bug eyes, but especially to these other eyes that look super soft, right? Doesn't, don't they look feminine? Um, doesn't this person look feminine here? Can I just say that? Is that something I can say? If we say that right here is possibly another face. And look how clear this line is right here. Right here... Okay, and then there's sort of a line right here. Do you guys see this line right there? Yeah, it's really hard to see what it was, if it was something. Oh, I feel like her lips are right here. Okay, let's see. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. Gosh, she was beautiful. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Look how amazingly beautiful this woman was. Oh my gosh. Her nose is not... Okay. Okay. Where is her nose? Is this it right here? Wait. This? Oh my gosh. I think that is her nose. Right there. And it kind of came up this way. Her nose might be broken off. Look at those lips though. Can you guys see those lips? Mmm. I had no idea this was here. I, I had no idea this was here. Look at this. This is unbelievable to me. Like, I am not a very good artist, you guys. Somebody definitely came in and did this in the past, because I am definitely not. And somebody made this out of a rock in a, in a forest somewhere with paint, I would say, or chalks, maybe. Like, I mean, who knows? how exactly this worked out i feel terrible about this this previous first drawing now because it looks absolutely terrible <laughs> next to this exquisite piece of art that i am coming i'm seeing here oh my gosh um yeah please please don't look at this guy anymore all right like let's move him out of the way because he's he's kind of annoying me <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Does she have some symbol on her forehead? What's here? Hold on. Let me see it. Do you guys see that? Is that... Is that... Uh, there's something... That is called something. There is something that... that, that I've seen that before. That's like an Egyptian thing. Uh, I'm just going to remind you, this lady's in Montana. Whew. This is so crazy.
Wow. Let's just draw that in there right there on her forehead. What do you think of that? She's definitely got some eyelashes here. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm already there. Look at those eyelashes. And right here, I might have her eye line a little wrong right here. She might be more like over here. A little bigger eye. Um... than what I previously drew. Let's give her a little bigger, a little bigger right eye here, or left eye. She's looking a little wide-eyed right there with like uh mm -hmm. I think we can we can fix her up here a little bit. Alright. Look how cute she is. I kinda ringed her eye up here. I'm gonna give her some eyelashes. I'm not really seeing any here in the existing thing. Oh, I'm really lost on this nose too. I'm not sure what's going on there, but man. Overall, pretty cool. I'm totally ruining her eye, am I not? <laughs> it's like I had it, and now I'm like, not so sure. Especially because one's kind of looking this way, and one's kind of looking the other way now. I don't know what's going on. Let's see, what else we got here? On this side, let's go over here. Let me see if it'll let me zoom in over here. Because on this side, on the bottom, we have another little, we have another little something here that I found. I looked, I had, I had a little look, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you, I had a little look at this earlier. What do you think of this one? Now, since we just saw those two faces over to the right of this one. Now, this to me looks very suspicious. However, what, what happened to the top portion? If it is a face, if, we, if it is a face, but we, which we can't say for sure. I don't think we can say for sure. I mean... Let's take a look here. Not sure what I'm writing. Black. Okay. So what I'm what I'm pointing out here, if you're not seeing this this face at all right now, then I'm gonna just point out right here is somewhat of the shape of what could be a face in time. However, 
we don't have very much of it. We just have these, what again, to me, appeared to be, when I looked at this earlier, it looked like this were lips right here. And uh, <clears throat> if we call those lips, then right here would be the sort of the upper lip, maybe. And the mouth actually maybe even comes all the way over here. Let me, let me, let's, let's remove that. What do you think? If we call this the mouth... And all of this red portion. And then we've got these upper lip things. What do you think? What do you think? Could those be lips? Maybe this person is wearing some sort of a, a full face shield of some sort. My gut's telling me it's looking something like this is what jumped out at me just now. What do we got here? Does this look like anything? Whoa, do you guys see an eye right here? If we call that one an eye, then we've got the other eye right there. Look at that. And then maybe their nose is right here. Gosh, that sure looks like an eye right there. Let's zoom in. And let's call these little pointy things eyes. And let's put some white there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this thing's getting annoying. All right. That could be a thing. I mean, if it's damaged, it has maybe some concrete lichen right there. Or some other something like a bird poop. <laughs> you know. We can say that it's got this interesting color here under this chin area right like that color is very different than the rest of this gray area over here that is for sure two different colors and i would say let's back out oh gosh if we could just back out <sighs> pretty big stretch to say there's eyes and this helmet thing or whatever I just drew on there. I'm going to say from this angle, it's really tough to say that's what that is. Um, those eyes did look pretty clear in that one right before I drew them. I'm not going to lie on that. Like, I kind of did like that. Let me know in the comments, are you guys seeing anything different here? And am I a complete crazy person? I mean, it's totally possible. It probably is just a rock, right? I always like that one guy he comments. He's just always like, it's a rock. <laughs> Especially since, you know, look, we have kind of another set of eye things right here. If we say those are eyes, these, if we call these eyes down here, 
then we have to say this thing over here looks like an eye. This one. But maybe it's a third eye. Is it a representation of a third eye? Oh my gosh. I didn't think about that until right now. Dude's got a third eye. Look at that. I will note the pointy thing is going upwards where the pointy thing on the other two supposed eyes is pointing downwards. And what are all these other white things? Were these decorations on the helmet? Was this a dove? Whoa. You know, were these other drawings of some sort? Was there some stylistic to this thing? Was this some sort of fancy... I'm going to say we don't know. I'm going to say we don't know. Now. Somebody commented on the channel earlier today that he was seeing writing on these same panels, maybe not this particular wall, but that he could, he was zooming in and he was seeing writing in these things that were under the faces in time that I was drawing, I believe was what he was saying. Or they were saying, I don't know if it was a man actually. Um... So, um, my thought was here, I would just look through these other darker areas and see if something was jumping out at me. I'm not really seeing anything here. Now, we are coming up to here is another light-colored area of rock that has gray area to the right of it. You see what I'm saying? Now, if we call those other previous things faces, then what would we say for this one? Is there a face here? Does anybody see a face here? Do I see a face here? I guess it's my channel and I'm the one holding this pen. What do you think though too? Like, are these the remnants of paintings over here? Like how dark is this? You guys see how black, it's like black. Is this the remnants of some ancient pigment here? Some paint on top of these rocks? And, and would they have painted all the rock maybe black and then had the faces so they would stand out more greatly? Like if, if, if we make the assumption that these are actually faces down here and since we've seen all these other faces all around this same area then we can say that these are very likely past representations of faces once again. And then we could say that very likely these black areas are intentional as well. And maybe some of the black area has worn away. But look at this circle right here. I mean, there's like a bunch of white circles. However... I will say that this appears to be a lichen all over these rocks. When you're up close to it, it comes in as lichen. And I have theorized on some of it, it looked like they used the lichen to color the rocks. And so from a long ways away, you would see the lichen standing against the rocks as different colors. All right, so the question is, I don't really see anything in this other lighter color area. However, um, just in this shot right here, hold on, let me just look at this for a sec. What's going on here? Let me, I wanna point something out. We're gonna zoom in on it here in a second. Remember when I was talking about the writing? Doesn't this right here look like writing? 
Let's see if we can zoom in on that. Gosh. I lost my one viewer. It's pretty boring, right? All right. I don't see any writing here. What about this right here? You guys see that right there? Again, you zoom in, it's like, yeah, it's tough to tell. It gets really pixelated. All right. Now, something I noticed here in the, in the big overalls on this is there's a V shape right here and right here. And then there's also this line that goes right here under this face, two faces. And there's another very interesting line across the top of this rock. And then when we zoom in, let's zoom in here. Oh, my pen is just not happy with me. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it's tough to see right now. But right here is like a little pedestal with what looked like a drain. But you can't really tell. And then up here, there's additional areas that look like pedestals. In this photo, it's not very clear. Oh, these guys over here. Let me zoom in over here. Right here and right here and right here. It looked to me in person that these were places where things were sat upon the top of these rocks and, and like in a little pocket. Oh, also over here, this one. This was like a shelf right here where something could have been sat. Let me, let me draw this out better. This right here. I'm pretty sure that was what I was talking about. All right. Now, um, we haven't even got to the interesting part yet, folks. So just hang in there with me. Let's... um. Let's... Let's do take a look at this this little weirdo over here, though, right? You guys see this guy? Alright, it's a little pixelated. But... Right here is the image of another face. And this guy has like a helmet on, it looks like. Although his ear could be right there, but his nose is definitely right there. And his eyes are right there. And he's got a mouth right there. Let's just give him a little definition here. And we'll give him the yellow outline, just to make it very clear for people to see this face in time. And look how clear the pink face is. Again, it's pink. Versus gray. Huh. Now, let's zoom, zoomy, zoomy, zoomy straight up here. Again, these are little platforms right here. These are little platforms. Up here we have Mr. Fish Face guy with his little crazy fish. 
And then we have the old man right here. Don't forget, we got a crazy old man face right here. There's a whole video on that. You should definitely check that one out. Um, over here... We have this. Now... Let me draw the border on this rock that I want to work with right now. Um, this rock is behind the main feature that we just we just did the anal analyzing on, and um, I, I am so sorry. This is probably the most boring live stream on the planet, but this is what we're looking at here, and this is my life right now. So here we have a rock that is separate it stands alone and in the video you guys are gonna freak out in the main video this thing stands up by itself it's pink versus gray rock again look at this it's like why is this such different color of rock all right we're gonna do a little cheat here with a smart patch i think it's this one Look at that. All right, it might be too big of a smart patch. All right. So, some of you may already be witnessing clearly what's going on here with this panel because if you've been watching this far then for sure you're gonna see ooh, you're gonna see that there's some faces here and i just need to do the outlines first I know it's super boring. But like, you guys get to come with me and see how I make these things. Look at this. This is unbelievable. It almost looks like it's 3D printed here. Do you guys see how there's these straight lines right here? Um, also straight lines. Okay, wait a minute. Let me let me just point out what I'm talking about. Right here and right here and right here and right here. All these straight lines. Uh, are possibly indications here's some straight lines over here of them coming as possibly came in here and they used chisels to chip away at the rock to get the overall underlying shape that they were wanting um <clears throat> so they chip away at the rock to get until you know it's called relief carving uh, relief carving is where they remove rock to get the overall shape from a from a big rock. And there's a big Kailash temple in uh, India that is a, the largest uh, relief carving, I believe, that they've found so far. But do I even need to draw this one? I kind of feel like I don't even need to draw it. Like, you guys can see on the right here for sure. It's super clear. These other two guys, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe they're pretty clear. Super interesting. I'm sorry. I'm trying to drink some tea here. All right. Well, what do you guys think? You kind of have to go with the eyes on this guy over here first. Let's see what, what his eyes look like. Just because it's so clear. Usually we do the eyes last, though. Let's, let's come in here and do the eyes last. But look at that eye. I just have to do it. Ooh, 
look at that. Unbelievable. That was already there. I didn't have to do anything. I just darkened in the line. Same thing here with his nose. Look at this nose. Super clear nose. Like that's already there. His other eye, we're having a harder time. Maybe this is it here. Um, he's got some lines across his nose here. He's got a little. And then look under his nose. His upper lip. And his mouth. I mean, I don't even have to draw this in, right? Like it's already there. Okay, I'll draw it in. <laughs> I'm really just highlighting lines that are already there. Now, this was probably painted in the past. To give them the definition, you know, like the ultimate, ultimate definition. And again, you know, I'm probably using the relief carving technique. Oh, look at his ear. His ear is right there. Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. That is so amazing to me. I mean, he kind of looks like Obama. <laughs> Man, that upper lip thing is so crazy looking. I could maybe do some more definition on this. Lower lip.
going to give him some eyebrows here. And we're going to give him some hair. And then we're going to call this a line. And then... Okay, I think I'm seeing the other guy now. Because he's got some teeth right here. And his nose, and he's got some eyes right here. You guys seeing this one? Um, his cheek is here, and he's got just a whole line here. Um, look at his hair. I mean, this guy had straight up black hair. Look at this. I think I think the black just got bleached out somehow. And then his ear was probably right in there. And then all of this was probably pretty dark. Look at his cheek. And I don't like his mouth though. And I'll do some little eyes on him. Absolutely bonkers. Especially when you see this one. Oh my gosh, look at this. The eyes are like right here. This one got hit by the blurry tool, but I can still see it. Look at that. Unfrickin' believable. I mean, I am not this good of an artist, you guys. I can't just come in here and draw a face. I'm telling you, I cannot. This is not what I do. Like, this is already here. That's freaking nuts. So I'm getting tired. Let's see what else we got here. <laughs> Let me just make sure I'm on black. I kind of want to do this guy's hairline a little bit. I'm not sure what color his hair was, but he's got something going on here. I'd like to thank the one person that watched this video so far. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure YouTube's not going to like this one, so you probably won't see it. anybody else watching it. Um, super interesting.
think I'm running out of things to draw on here. That was freaking interesting, though, wasn't it? What if all these things right here are drawings? Or are words or some... Remember, that, like I said, there's this guy that says these things are... Possibly... Writings. What if these are all little pieces of art here? Like... Look right here. This looks like the outline of a of a, a head, maybe, and this kind of looks like the outline of a head as well. Like up here. Look at this guy. Of course, I've just been drawing faces on rocks for the last hour. Look at this guy. Now I'm starting to go crazy, right? It's fun though. It's fun to look at. Now, could there have been other faces in time on this feature that are just super not clear right now? Because they've been obscured by the lichen and just passing of time, forest fires. I think it's very likely that there could be more on this rock. And I would really like to apologize to the person who is represented in this feature right here. Because I feel like I really did an injustice on this guy. <laughs> Especially when his partner came out so beautiful. Like, look at this goddess. Like, she was amazing down there. All right. Um, well, let's see about it thanks for listening what do you think